Uh, my name is Daniel Lehman, aka Lucky D. Uh, I am from essentially Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I do a bunch of things, but I play a lot of arcade edition Street Fighter 4 and play Dawson. Okay, what got me into fighting games was I loved playing Third Strike, but I was just one of those pad scrubs who played on Dreamcast with his one friend and mashed medium kick with Makoto. And then uh, I would always watch, uh, actually, Family Fun Arcade Dungeon videos with uh, Dr. Sub-Zero down on the West Coast and thought that was like a world away from me. So I'd play with my friends. And then, uh, and then a friend of mine who was a racing game player took me to TGA just one day for fun. I was like, oh, okay, sure, I'll go to an arcade. They had Third Strike head-to-head -head cabinets and I met everyone and I fell in love with the fighting games. So. TJ was an arcade uh, by owners of Andy and Chie uh, in Rhode Island and then New Hampshire, and it was a Japanese dedicated arcade. Uh, and it just, the owner of it was so uh, in tune with the fighting game community that he was, he updated everything and he kept all the arcade machines top notch and had RAM bats and tournaments. And it was just a really great place for New England to level up in terms of fighting games. So it was just an awesome place. I met everyone, that's how I got started. I met people that kicked my butt for a long time and they'd still kick my butt if they still played and it was just a ton of fun. The Boston Massachusetts scene is actually pretty strong. It's, it's, it's probably, I would probably say it's stronger than uh, most other communities other than like, you know, New York. Uh, we don't have an arcade. We have a couple of venues that are just land centers at this point, but everything is at that point now. Um, but we have a good community, you know, we, we kind of get separated from time to time, but there's a lot of players, uh, you know, shout outs to uh, the people still playing, Rob, we, uh, Rob Stevens and Craig Stevens still come out, uh, they, and you know, us three and a, a multitude of other people do pretty well at these majors when we can travel out, and it's just a lot of fun, you know, we all come up in packs and win or lose and get drunk and have fun. Well, Annie and John, uh, the team guys of Always Godlike, they, uh, they're like the nicest people. It's, there's a lot of teams out there and some are trying to like do things with the community. Everyone's trying to help the community, but some are doing it in different ways. Annie and John are literally just basically family. We're not, Always Godlike isn't trying to do anything that's too big or you know, necessarily eSports like. We're just a bunch of guys who like to play video games, do stuff for the community, have real lives, and, and just have fun. That's it. The communities, I, I think the fighting game community is uh, really, really huge right now, and it should be striving to get better at the games. But at the same time, you know, it's it's a fighting, it's a it's a video game. You know, we like to have fun with it. Don't get me wrong. The reason why, one of the reasons why I joined AG was in the in the maybe in the midst that one day we'll be playing uh, under big lights, uh, it would be awesome. But not, I don't want to do that for like money or anything like that. I just want to play people. I just want to play and get better and play people in awesome atmospheres, and then go back home and get go back to real life. It's an awesome hobby. I wouldn't I wouldn't give it up. I hope to play it for ten more years. You know, fighting games and meet more people and and just have a ton of fun. Well. I can't say I came up with the idea. Um, a guy in Arkansas, uh, Panda Bear, uh, a player, came to me and said, hey, do you want to do online first of fives? Uh, we'll stream it, we'll record them, and we'll do live commentary. So we did that, and it turned out great, and we're having a ton of fun doing it. And then he had to kind of stop, for whatever reason. And he, I think he's actually starting it up again, so we're going to work with him. But in the meantime, uh, when I joined AG, John was like, and we're always, John came up to me and said, hey, Dan, we're always looking for like new ways to like do a new fun project. Do you have anything for us? I presented him that idea, and now every Monday we stream uh, Always Got Light Television, and it's hosted by me, uh, a player named Knives in New York, and Kazi, and we host First of Fives online. People can watch every Monday First of Fives of a bunch of really fun, interesting, and high level Street Fighter 4 matches. Fighting game community has kind of hit a plateau. We're getting oversaturated with fighting games. We're getting oversaturated with majors and tournaments, um, and they're all great. And they're all, and most of them are run by really good people. But I think we've hit a cap. You know, we need to somehow target 
I don't know. If we want to make it bigger, which I'm kind of 50-50 on, if we wanted to make it bigger, we have to figure out how to appeal to more people. For example, and I'm sure everyone knows this, I watch StarCraft. I don't play it anymore, but I still watch it at a regular basis. Most of the people watching Street Fighter matches at some point play Street Fighter. And that's pretty much the cap of our viewers and you know fan base. If we want to make it bigger, we got to figure out how to make it more entertaining. I don't know. And some people are going in one direction, some going in others. I don't necessarily agree with everyone. But we'll just, you know, keep throwing things at the wall. Something will eventually stick. What's next for me? Uh, more fighting games. More tournaments, more fighting games. Uh, more learning new games, more meeting people. More traveling down to Connecticut and beating them all in tournaments. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Just having fun, playing fighting games, learning more Dawson tricks so people will piss, get pissed off on Xbox Live. That's it. That's all.